They're trying to protect his two children goes after two carjackers, taking one of them down this morning in St. Louis. News 11's Kelly Hoskins is live with how the drama unfolded and the dad who wasn't going to take it when his kids were threatened. Kelly? Well, Mike, we're right here outside of downtown St. Louis Police Headquarters, where it's been a very busy day for detectives. Meanwhile, Michael Field says that he was driving in downtown St. Louis, having a day of fun with his two children, when the day of fun turned into a nightmare, which almost cost him his life. St. Louis City Police responded to a report of a shooting at the Shell gas station in downtown St. Louis Wednesday morning around 11. That's when an officer in need of aid call came out for shots fired. Witnesses say two people approached a woman with a gun and demanded she hand over her car keys. We are told the intended victim pulled out her gun and fired multiple shots, and the suspects fled in their stolen vehicle. Residents want the violence to end. I've been living here for 63 years, and this area here seems to be the hot spot where the accident is happening. The suspects hit Michael Field's vehicle after their stolen vehicle flipped at Tucker and Convention Plaza. A guy had stole a car and ran through the red light and smashed into us, flew up in the air and uh, landed over here on the sidewalk. Field says the suspects approached him with a gun. He says he knew he had to do something because his two children weren't with him. He was trying to run from the scene and I confronted him and he literally pulled a gun on me. One of the other guys that were in the car tried to get away. He was trying to get his stuff out of the car though and I apprehended him and held him until the police got here. By the grace of God, uh, Jesus has his hand of protection. I have a hedge of protection over me. I want the God's children and that's basically all that is. And you can see how bad the accident was. My car was completely totaled out. Now, it's unclear what charges that suspect might face. Now, we're told that no officers were injured, and this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.